welcome back to the channel. Today we're installing a Flow Motorsports adjustable rear brake pedal on the Dyna. Hopefully it helps out the wheelie some. Um, I do have it adjusted up a bunch already, so I think the height's gonna be good. I may mess around with the uh, position away from the peg a little bit, but let's go check it out. So this is the box, uh, really cool labeling. It's actually raised. I'm, I'm super impressed by the box for some reason, but uh, it gives you all the specs on the back of it. And when you open it up, uh, there's a message from the guys over at Flow Motorsports just saying thank you for purchasing the products. Uh, there's a bunch of stickers in the box. And here's the actual arm um, made out of aluminum. Uh, Flow Motorsports logo etched into it. And this really cool uh, brake pedal pad with the MX style cleats on it. And it is adjustable. There's a bolt in there with three positions that you can adjust this thing on. So yeah, let's get the dyno on the lift and see if we can get this thing installed. like to get the brake pedal off uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle but you need to get the foot rest uh, mounting bracket off and because you don't have room to get these bolts out right here uh, it looks like we're gonna have to pull the exhaust so that's gonna be our first step is getting that exhaust out of the way so yeah guys that escalated quickly <laughs> um, since this is a fuel injected bike it has oxygen sensors. Um, this rear one actually goes through this battery cover here. So all it is is three Torx bolts. There's one on the inside behind the battery, pull the battery, and boom, you have all this room to get it out. Um, should be able to change that out fairly quickly now that all that's out of the way so uh, while we're here uh, i'm gonna move this track or die case saver back a little bit adjust it um i left the washer out originally so i think i'm gonna put it back in there and get a proper measurement without the exhaust in the way so yeah let's get this uh stock brake pedal out of there and we'll get the flow motorsports one installed pretty quick So once you get the brake pedal off, or the assembly, brake pedal and, and footrest assembly, um, there's a snap ring that you have to release to get that off of there. And then for the actual brake rod, there's this little clip you have to get off. So that's all we need to take apart to get the new one installed. It's really that easy once you get the exhaust out of the way. guys all installed and yeah we're all set ready to rock and roll really straightforward once you get the exhaust out of the way and we're gonna check that uh, track or die case saver make sure we're good on the clearance nothing moved all that good stuff and we're gonna readjust the sag on these shocks and hopefully be ready to go for tomorrow so appreciate the support guys hopefully you enjoyed this video take it easy like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one